Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So do you want to increase your airdrop on Hunters on Chain? So I'm going to share with you how you can get an extra character to play in the game or maybe even two and complete all the daily missions. So this game is having the airdrop. So Boneline, that is the company that create the game, is having the airdrop and you can come here and check it out. So there are all the different quests that you can do get the airdrop i'm gonna leave my link for the referral below so go ahead and use it if you can please and here you're gonna get your badge you're gonna do your quests you're gonna get your multipliers all the good stuff that we had to do to get the airdrops however you're gonna start with an nft or actually with a character that after 14 days is gonna turn into your nft however to increase your chance in gaining on the game you need to have more NFTs and the NFTs were quite expensive. However, I'm going to teach you how you can get extra NFTs for almost nothing. I'm going to show you how you can get one NFT for less than a cent. So let's go ahead and talk about this. And for this, I'm going to jump into the game. So this is the game. If you don't know about the game, go and watch my previous video. I'm going to show you here how you can get an extra NFT for less than one saint so all you need to do is come to missions and a missions is gonna have these missions here that i already did so all you have to do to finish this first one is to get 30 trophy points then you're gonna get 10 trophy points on the boss hunt you also need to merge a common artifact and have two wooden chests so by day one you should be able to open two wooden tests with no problem now, what is difficult is to get the artifact because your artifact is going to have to match your character. So if you go here on the hunter and if I select this hunter and look the artifacts and here I already have my one merged, but you can see these are the missing artifacts. So you need to find one of these artifacts here to merge with your character and it can take a long time. I spent about 10 days playing this game, trying to open wood chests and silver chests and never get an artifact. So I was thinking I would never finish this mission. However, you can actually buy the artifacts on the shop. So if you come to Sphere and if you go to collection, you're gonna have here the three uh, different collections for Hunters on Chain. So the first one are the premium NFTs. So here you can see it starts on 33 IMX. Now the second one is the Hunters. And these are the Hunters that people are receiving in the game. They go for 01 IMX. So that's about, I would say 20 cents or so. So not too bad here if you wanna go ahead and already get a character. And I would recommend you to get one of this so you can get three characters and then with these three characters, you can get all the daily missions. I'm going to talk more about that. But here is the third one. You're going to get one artifact for 006 IMX. So for about one cent, for less than one cent, you can get this artifact. So if you buy the artifact here, it's going to show in the game. Then you can just select your character, go to artifact, select the first one, and it's going to be ready here for you to go ahead and merge it now once you merge it you're gonna be completing this first mission here and on this mission you're gonna get one character so you're gonna get one character and a hundred tokens just by completing that mission so that's the mission one character 100 tokens then the second one is also quite easy you can come here and complete the second one this is gonna give you one artifact and the third one is the one that's going to be more complicated, especially if you're playing with common characters. You need to get 500,000 regen. So that's going to be a lot of tokens for you to get it with the common character. Because for the common character, you're going to get about three to four tokens for each match. If you do upgrade your character, you can get up to 3,500 or 4,000 tokens in one match. So then is when you can go ahead and participate on this now like i said if you come here for the daily quest now there's five daily quests that you can complete it before i was just able to complete the first two so i was able to play the hunt mode three times and i was also able to expand five energies because each character on common character would get five energies 
Now I was open the silver test every second day. And of course I could not do the high voltage because it would require me to have three common characters to play or a higher grade character here. And also the artifact, I wasn't been doing this because I didn't have an artifact that would match my hunter. Now I have been able to buy the first one and now I have been open more chests and I actually have few artifacts that I'm going to be able to merge with my hunter for the next couple of days. And I think, you know, if it's costing less than a cent, maybe I will buy every day a new artifact to do the merge. Now that's it. Now remember you have this 100 gems here. So to get the 100 gems you need to finish the tutorial, explain 5 energy, do the hunter mode 3 times, open 5 wooden chests and win a bound hunt once. Now that's the hardest task that you have to do. The other ones here are really easy. I would open the 5 wooden chests straight away. And of course with these other two you don't even have to worry about it because they will come naturally. So that's it guys. I hope this video helped you. I hope this strategy makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you're gonna go and play this game, please use my referral link below and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.